joining us today. Kia ora, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa, tēnei te uri o ngā iwi o te tai toke rau, o ngā kuhi, o te rarawa, o te tai rākete, o ngā tiparau, o waikato tai nui, o ngā titahinga, tēnei e mihi kauana kia koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora mai tātou katoa. I want to thank Miharo, Tangata Whenua and Mana Whenua here in Tamaki Makoto who opened our korero today and acknowledge that on this very land, right here in Tamaki Makoto, we have seen the violence of colonisation and I mihi to the people of Ngāti Whātua for showing us how to resist in the blatant face of violence and injustice, how to maintain their ahika and their mana motuhake over their people and their land in the face of ongoing violence and injustice. We here as tangata whenua of this land, our dignity to decolonize and re-indigenize Aotearoa is attached to the justice and dignity for the people of Palestine. My name is Marama Davidson. I am a nana, I am a mother, and I am a peace activist. I stand here to acknowledge the 75 years of oppression, of inhumane occupation of the State of Israel over the lands and the people of Palestine and Gaza. We must not ever forget the context in which this genocide is happening. So I start with that. I start with making sure I put up front that ongoing oppression and being clear that we, the Green Party, will always call for an end to the occupation in the Palestine territories. I am a peace activist. I have an obligation as tangata whenua, as a wahine, as a nana, to call for an end to the killing of all our mokopuna. I have a vision for all of our mokopuna to live with peace, to live without violence, to live their best lives, to live with safety and security and aroha and manaki and dignity. Here in Aotearoa, we have that example. We have that example of even when my people, my tangata whenua people, our iwi and hapu all across this land, even when faced with the utmost violence of my grandmother having her language violated out of her tongue, of my grandmother having her land violently removed from my whakapapa, that even in the face of that violence, we want goodness, peace and security for all of our mokopuna and the many more generations to come. I join the calls. I join the global calls for justice and freedom for Palestine, knowing that that is the real path to enduring safety for all innocents, for all mokopuna. I stand for grieving all loss, and for the healing and our shared humanity, especially when mighty powers would have us all believe that war and wounding and genocide is the only way. So having gone to bed last night, thinking and with the weight of my soul that I could take no more of this unspeakable violence towards innocence, and waking up this morning to even further abhorrent genocidal actions from Israel to Gaza has both rendered me speechless while knowing our words for justice right now are even more important today than they ever have been. And the horror, and the horror of knowing that even with this blatant attempt at annihilation of an entire peoples, that this action will not bring peace for Israeli or Palestinian civilians either. This, this violence, this violence from the state
state of Israel to Gaza will bake in generations more of dehumanization and hate where trauma is already at least three generations deep. I stand here as a nana, grieving, grieving for the violence that is in this world today. And I add my voice to the calls for an immediate end of Israel government's assault on Gaza. I unequivocally, con unequivocally condemn the targeting of all innocents and our Palestinian innocents with my full throat. I join, I join the demands to end the occupation and the blockades. I urge with the many that humanitarian aid enter Gaza immediately and that all services to Gaza are restored. For justice to prevail, we need to see the safe return of all prisoners and hostages and I add my voice because we can't just ask for the ceasefire alone. I add my voice to demand a political solution that is enduring and away from the violent and oppressive choices. Gaza right now is in darkness and those of us who can stay in the light must. I recognize as I look at my own mokopuna in this beautiful land of ours who get to run in the grass who get to touch the sea, who get to play in the sand, who get to climb the trees, who get to be safe and loved and not under the aim of missiles and bombs. I want that for your mokopuna. I want that for all mokopuna. both the grief and the anger for all our beautiful human lives lost, those dead and wounded and maimed and kidnapped and imprisoned, lying under rubble, starving, neglected, in the dark, dying without life's basics, without dignity, Palestinian babies being birthed on the side of bombed roads and bombed cities with no medical support for their mamas and their families. Many of them die soon after. This is abhorrent. We cannot normalize these terrors. We know the loss is in the thousands, but I am clear that one loss is one too many. Do not be distracted by the stupid idiotic debate about numbers. It absolutely is in the thousands. But one of your Palestinian mokopuna is one too many. Ete iwi, ete iwi. The decision to aim bombs at innocents is a political choice. The decision to keep humanitarian aid and services out of Gaza is a political choice. The decision to come here and use our responsibility as politicians is a political choice. We must urge all political leaders to heed the call against further genocide, against further murder, and at this point I must acknowledge that right now, collaborating, collective voices for peace are the so important for that platform to be strengthened. We have our Jewish people for peace right here in front of us. All around the world, Jewish people who know, who know what is wrong are being criminalized and punished for speaking out against their own state of terror. All around the world, we must come together and understand and resist the violent, oppressive choices that are being offered up to the world. Damn you, Biden. Damn you, European Union. We reject your violence and your genocide. We reject your dominance of political narrative. Our millions and millions of voices for justice, for Palestine, for peace, for life, for our mokopuna.
opener are stronger, are stronger and need to be loud and unequivocal. I'm mihi to te party Māori, I'm mihi to my colleagues here, demand of your politicians to get